Talk, talk to me. WSRadio.com. Welcome back to Computer and Technology Radio with your hosts, Mark Cohen and Marsha Collier. And welcome to 866 WS Radio, and thanks, Kurt, for the happy birthday wishes. Marsha, I'm still not sure you've said happy birthday yet. Happy birthday. Okay, let's just get our guest on, yeah, okay, okay, dude? Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> uh, this is kind of cool. When we were at CES, I, uh, I ran into this company, and, you know, smart televisions now, you know, Frequently, you buy a new TV, and it comes with Internet-connected smart television, and we'll ask what smart television means in a second. But there are a lot of TVs out there that don't have smart TV, and you don't necessarily want to spend $2,000 or $5,000 or whatever new TV costs to get just the smart TV component. So let me introduce Jeremy Yankel, uh, who is the CEO. And is uh, Jeremy, is it Favi Entertainment? Yes, it's uh, Favi Entertainment. Bobby Entertainment. And uh, this is a very cool device. You guys sent it to me to test, and I had it up and running in about five minutes, and it works great. So the question number one is, what is smart TV? Well, a smart TV is, uh, in our definition, is anything that allows you to access the Internet and uh, access apps. So and that's uh, a smart TV in a nutshell. Okay, and you guys have come up with a little, what Marshall likes to call dongle, a little USB <laughs> dongle uh, that you pl- plug into the TV. And tell us about how this works and what do you get with it. Okay, so the product's called um, Smart Stick. So Smart Stick is, um, picture a device about the size of a USB thumb drive, mm-hmm. uh, but instead of a USB, it has an HDMI um, sticking out of it. So that just plugs right in the back to your um, HDMI port on your TV. Um, and it runs um, our, our customized Android operating system. Um, has a gigabyte of RAM, um, and it allows you to access Google Play Store um, uh, and, and basically hundreds of thousands of apps. So that's that's what SmartStick is, and it, and it can transform any TV uh, with an HDMI input into a smart TV. So you don't have to um, buy a whole new TV when you're your flat screen it. TV at home is perfectly good. So that's that's basically where we come in with smart stuff. Okay, I have a question. Um, sure. You, I assume it's Android apps and Android based. Why is all and all my smart TVs have Android? Why is everyone using Android? Because it's open source, or yeah, so it's it's, it's open source and allows us to um, uh, easily port a system onto a television. Um, that users are already familiar with, too. That's the big thing. And and access hundreds hundreds of thousands of existing apps that they're already familiar with uh, from their phone or tablet. And with this, you could go into uh, is, uh, Netflix. One of the, I assume Netflix is on there. Yeah, you can, you can download it from the Play Store. Yeah, Netflix or there, as, as Jeremy, you just said, there's a, there's a gazillion apps on here that you can go to. Gives you the ability to also, there's a, if I remember right, there's a browser in there, so you can just go in and, and uh, surf the web on there? Yes, yeah, so there's a, there's a built in browser, um, so you can go anywhere you want on the internet. Um, you can also, it has functionality, functionality built into it where you can stream uh, media wirelessly from your PC or laptop, which is pretty cool. And you have an RF keyboard that you also sell if people want to, like, really start sending email. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it, it, which, yeah, it, it can uh, basically turn, uh, this, this little device can basically turn into your computer um, with, the, with the RF keyboard. And I have to say, it works great. You guys sent it to me to test, and it, it, it's got a nice little touchpad on it uh, and a small, it's small, and it's large enough to not have big hands not work well on it, but it's small enough that it's, you know, I guess it's probably about the size of maybe a little smaller than a normal remote for your TV set, and it's a whole lot thinner. Yeah, what are mm-hmm. the costs on these things? Okay, this, so the smart stick, uh, uh, we have a 4 gigabyte memory version that um, starts at forty nine ninety five, and the, we have an 8 gigabyte version that, that retails for seventy nine ninety five, and then the if you want to opt for the keyboard, the RF keyboard, um, that is thirty nine ninety five. So um, some users, you know, would want to opt for the, the RF um, keyboard, or you could use you could plug in a, a wireless mouse and, and operate the smart stick that way too, if you prefer. Um, also, uh, Google TV remote app from your phone also works pretty well. 
So basically, for ninety bucks, you can turn your existing TV into a smart TV. Yeah. HD TV, right? HD. Uh, is it well? Is yeah. it only HD? HD TV. Yeah, yeah. So your your TV would need to have an HDMI. Um, we would have to, right. It would have to have an HDMI cable, and right. there there is no conversion that I'm aware of. Is there that can take a uh, component and turn it into an HDMI and make that work, or is there? No, there's not. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is kind of cool. Everybody's gone to smart TV. So, of the apps that you use on this thing, what are your favorite apps? Uh, I love I love TuneIn Radio. That's that's a great one. Um, and, and we're on TuneIn Radio. Yeah. yeah, we are. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that allows you access to um, any radio program across the country. So, I use that one. Um, I run that one while I'm um, so I can listen to radio and then I'm surfing the web on the on the stick all at the same time. So, it is the multitasking functionality as well. Yeah, no, it, it actually uh, it works great. I was impressed on uh, on how quickly it actually comes. It's very easy to install. Literally, all you do is you plug it into your HDMI cable, do, take a couple of steps, plug in a couple of things, and then it will connect wirelessly to your Internet connection. So I think that's great. Um, and then where can we find out about this? Um, you can go to our website, uh, favientertainment.com. Um, you can purchase the smart stick and the keywords there. Um, and I just a, tweeted. I just tweeted about it. So you do have a Twitter account at at f a v i e n t n t rather. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, F-A-V-I-E-N-T. cool. V i e n t. Cool device. Right. Hey, yeah, Jeremy, thank you so much for being with us. This is cool. I, I suggest you check it out. It, uh, uh, I'm sorry, we lost you there for a second. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, no, our pleasure, and and thank you. It, it works great. It's inexpensive, and for everybody that wants to get into the new smart, t- you know, smart television, smart Internet age, uh, doing this fairly inexpensively, it's a good deal. So, Jeremy, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Yeah, great oh, product. My pleasure. Thanks, thank, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. That's really a cool product. You it know, is. Uh, I, was, I was checking out some of the, uh, you know, that you can use it with. Um, it's very cool. The yeah. smart stick, you know, really is going to enable so many people. And let's face it, not everybody can afford to be buying a brand new, new TV, yeah. TV so you can get web enabled. Yeah. And for under $100, you know, I think that's a, let me see what's coming up. Easter? Uh, yeah. I mean, there's, you know, you got to make sure, as, as we talked about, you got to make sure that the TV does have an HDMI plug in. Otherwise, it won't work. But, uh, the and then the the size of what you get the four gig or the eight gig obviously is this is where you store your apps on it. So if you get a lot of apps, you know you're inclined to do that. Then you want to get the one that's uh, it's a little bit more expensive. It's about thirty bucks more for to go from the four gig to the eight gig. But if you're looking to that, and you know it's funny, Marcia, I dropped Netflix about three months ago. I did want, you know I wasn't watching it, and and we use Dish Network, and Dish Network has Blockbuster, and you know I consider it's pretty them much be, everything on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it is. Although I have to say, and this, and, and now I'm a tiny bit sorry I dropped it because you know about this new show they new created? series. I know. Yeah, I'm House all excited. Cards. What's it called? House of Cards, yeah, we have to start watching that because we do yeah. have Netflix still. Yeah, I was surprised, you know, and I, I have to say that that's pretty much what everybody's going to these days in the uh, uh, in the entertainment business. They're create, you know, companies that never um, actually had this kind of thing before now do have creativity and they create their own series. You know, it started with the cable channels, and then um, I think uh, Directv has a their own you know station channel. I mean, they're all kind of going that way. Well, the very cool thing about House of Cards, um, it's the most watched thing on Netflix. Uh, yeah, uh, it's According supposed to be fantastic. To Netflix. I mean, it, you know, people are watching it. Uh, this, they're working on a second season. Yeah. And they're working on some other shows. So all of a sudden, you've got little old Netflix. Yeah. Who's now turning into uh, uh, something really worthwhile watching. 